Hi again, everybody. Tom here. Uh, briefly today, uh, and this time with Ritisma acer, acerinum. acerinum. Uh, this is a pathogen, a fungus called tar spot. And this is afflicting, in this case, acer platinoides, the Norway maple. Neither this particular uh, fungus nor this tree are native. You'll see tar spot on the silver maple and the red maple, Acer saccharinum and Acer rubrum, respectively. And those are different species of the same genus of fungi, okay? Not the same species. Um, so they are uh, they're species specific. And it makes me wonder if this uh, fungus probably has a relationship back over in Norway with its, with its host. Um, unfortunately, it's not fatal. <laughs> You all know how much I love Norway maple. Um, but it sure does make the phone ring. And um, starting in, depending on the, the weather, uh, the phone will start ringing in the summer because uh, they're, the prized Norway maple in the, in the backyard has developed these big black patches. It's, like I said, it's a fungal pathogen. Uh, very rarely does it stunt the growth and if there's a really big heavy year, it, it doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be a bad year for it next year either. The best management practice, if this does bother you, is to rake up these leaves because the uh, fungi can winter over in the leaf cover or in the, the leaf litter and on, or the forest floor if it's forest as opposed to lawn and sporulate again in the spring, make their way up to the leaf surface. And that's when they drill into the leaf cuticle and start making it look like this. So again, the tar spot leaf fungus, right now this is in November, and as you know, the Norway maple holds on to its leaves a little bit longer than the native maples do. This is another characteristic of invasive plant species is that they, generally speaking, they tend to hold on to their leaves a little bit longer. This one is obviously dropped, it's not green anymore, so this is not photosynthesizing anymore but it wasn't very long ago that it was still attached to the tree. So it's a nice time to identify Norway maple because most of the other maples, the native maples, are nude at this point. Some of the Norways are still hanging on. And if it was a tar spot year, they look like this. So this helps me identify not only which leaves I wanna rake up, if that's important to me, or which invasive maple I wanna take down this winter. And that happens to be my plan in this particular case. Okay, thanks for your interest today. Talk to you soon.